had medalled at World Championship previously. In fact, eight medals between them. By semi-final stage, we have the top four seeds, only the third time in Women's Singles World Championship history uh, that we've had the top four seeds at semi-final stage. The defending champion, Akane Yamaguchi, at the top of the draw. Uh, but what a match-up here in the bottom half. A repeat of the Olympic final. champion and the number four seed here at the world championships twice she's been a bronze medalist at world championships first in 2017 in glasgow and then again in 2019 in basel on both occasions she lost to kusala venkata sindhu who sadly couldn't compete this year due to a stress fracture in her foot. Su Ying of Chinese Taipei. The number two seed here at these World Championships. Former world number one. She's been world number one for 213 weeks and will return to world number one on Tuesday, regardless of who wins the gold in these World Championships. She already has enough points to overtake the current world number one and defending world champion Akane Yamaguchi on those world rankings. This her seventh world championship and she's always reached at least a quarter final stage. But when you consider that she has been world number one for so long, the fact that she only won her first world championship medal at the last world championships and it was silver, how desperately she would like to turn silver into gold. This is the 24th meeting between these two players, and of the previous 23, Tai Su Ying has won 17 of them, but Chen Fei has won the last two, and the last being the semi-final of the Malaysian Masters 500. As you saw, it was two straight games in Kuala Lumpur, but the previous week at the Malaysian Open, Tai Su Ying had been a game and 12-5 up and yet somehow lost the match. In fact, she lost 16 of the next 17 points in the second game to lose the second game to 13. Uh, so uh, this, to me, is going to be a fascinating encounter. Chen Fei is 24 years of age, uh, born in Hangzhou, the capital of Xijiang province. And Hangzhou is going to be the host city for the 2022 Asian Games, which were supposed to happen uh, later in September, uh, but they've been postponed until next year. Currently, world number four has been world number one, and she had a bye in the first round. Sonia Chia from Malaysia in the second round. She went to three games against Porn Bui Chuchuwon of Thailand, the number 10 seed. And then the quarter final against Michelle Lee, the number 13 seed, two straight games, but huge congratulations to Michelle Lee. First Canadian in a quarter final since Wendy Carter, 42 years ago in 1980. So to Tai Su Ying, Dr. Tai Su Ying, having completed her PhD, she's 28 years of age, and as I was telling you, former world number one, about to be world number one again. 
she has won the gold medal at the Asian Games, uh, but only one medal, as Ready I was telling play. you, at World Championships. She also had a bye. All seeds in all disciplines, apart from the men's singles, had a bye in the first round. Then uh, Rapiska from Slovakia, uh, then uh, Vu from Vietnam, and the quarterfinal against the number 12 seed, Busanan Ongbangarangpan. And that was two straight games as well. So all of her matches in two straight games. Umpa Sakamoto for this one. Service drudge Trish Gubb from New Zealand. of the Olympic final a year on from the Tokyo Olympic Games. It is the Olympic champion nearest to us, Chen Fei from China, the number four seed in these World Championships against the silver medalist from the last World Championships, Tai Su Ying. shot. Well, Tai Su Ying, I think, is one of the most delightful players to watch in world badminton from any discipline. I think her overhead action, her variety of shots and her wonderful movement makes her an absolute delight to watch. There's a beautiful block as well. Chen Fei, on the other hand, is such a steady player, great retriever of the shuttle. And for Chen Fei, this is her fourth World Championships and a third semi-final. Mr. And in fact, Chen Fei won her first bronze medal in 2017 in Glasgow when she was reigning world junior champion, only the second women's singles player to achieve such a feat. The first being Ching Xiao Xie of Chinese Taipei. He won a bronze medal in 2005, having won the world junior championships a year earlier. Well, she was there early enough. And just error on the shot from Tai Su Ying. Well, it's only this lady and the lady I've just been mentioning, Ching Xiao Xie, who have ever won women's singles medals for Chinese Taipei. Four between them now. It is a guaranteed medal for this lady at this year's World Championships. Oh. Well, is that a nervous start by Chen Fei? We 
reached the final of the last tournament that she played, the Malaysian Masters. Lost out to Unsi Young of Korea, who's going to be playing the second semi-final against the defending champion. Last match of the day. That's going wide. Oh. In fact, Chen Fei has been in six finals this year from nine tournaments that she's played in. Won the Indonesian Masters and lost in the final of the German 300, the Korean 300, Thailand Open 500, Malaysia 750, and that Malaysian Masters I was telling you about. That's a good clear. That's a beautiful shot from Tai Su Ying. Look at that reverse slice cross court, and that lands in front of the front service line. That just shows what an acute angle that was. Well, Tai Su Ying only in three finals so far this year, in contrast to her opponent's six, but she's won all three finals that she's been in. That's a beautiful block. What a good start by Tai Su Ying. Her three titles, the Thailand Open, Indonesian Open Super 1000 event, and her home event, the Chinese Taipei 300. That was her fourth final, fourth title in her fifth final at her home event. Another beautiful drop. more positive in that rally, the Olympic champion. game interval with an eight point advantage. Tai Su Ying. What an amazing start. So 11-3, the advantage. I don't think many people would have predicted this sort of start. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That was a bit of a 
a swing of the racket from Tai Su Ying, making it look. There was the little swing. Then she checks the shot to play the net shot. It looked as if she was going to lift it, and that threw Chen Fei off balance. Oh, dropped the shuttle. My goodness, is that a sign of nerves? Oh, that's a super shot. What wonderful placement from Chen Fei and Luo Yigang, Chinese women's singles coach applauds and so he should that was lovely That's well in. What on earth was she thinking? In badminton terms, that wasn't even close. Yeah, the punch clear deep into Tai Su Ying's backhand corner. Then the slice across court to her forehand side, making her move the full diagonal. She simply couldn't get there in time. Beautiful block. Yeah, going for another drop shot winner. Seven, fourteen. Okay. Well, heavy strapping around the knee of Chen Yu Fei. Gradually working her way back into this. Landed in perfect length on the clear. Yeah, 
plan on the line. Well, she's moving better now, is Chen Fei in comparison to the start of the match, when she got caught out with three or four drop shot winners. players today yeah somebody else was holding up a similar sign yesterday maybe it was the same fan great punch clear and that's a good shot too Yeah, slightly off balance. And that's a problem if you try and play a downward shot when off balance, you tend to drag it down either into the net, as Chen Fei did on that occasion, or you drag it wide of the mark. more proactive now as well, Chen Fei, apart from moving better. Taking some initiative within the rallies. Oh, my goodness, what on earth was that? 12, well, we've seen some remarkable comebacks this week here in Tokyo. Beautiful. She was nine points adrift at one stage. At five fourteen. Now there's just four points in it. Can't get that one, though. That's a lesson in how to outmaneuver your opponent from Tai Su Ying. Longest rally of the match so far. That is delightful from Tai Su Ying. 
forced her opponent to play the backhand. Well, it was before that. We're only seeing the winning shot, unfortunately. Uh, the initial play down the backhand side of Chen Fei was the one that did all the damage. Yeah, lovely movement from Chen Fei. I remember when I first 14, saw her, I was 19. struck with how she's uh, a female version of the two-time former world men's singles champion, Chen Long. Her style of play, absorbing the pressure, and then suddenly the attacking play. But it's a tall order from here. 20, get point, because it is six game point opportunities for Tai Su Ying. She can make that shot. It's gone wide. And the opening game to Tai Su Ying. 21 15. 20 minutes of play. Starts by the silver medalist from both the Olympics and the last World Championships. Final rally, and the backhand drifts wide from Chen Ufei. Uh, tai Su Ying's going to have more problems in the second game playing with the drift, with her punch clears to the back of the court. to try and control them. It's been a problem for all players today to control the punch clears from the near side of the court as we look down during the rallies. So the players return to court for the start of this second game. Tai Su Ying's coach, Lai Qian Cheng, second using game. all of his allotted time. Several times I felt in the opening no. game, Tai Su Ying got herself in her position to having opened up the court to play a winner and then made an error. As indeed she did in the first rally of this second game. Yeah, now that's exactly what I was talking about during the interval. Problems controlling the punch clear for Tai Su Ying now hitting with the drift. There's another example where she's going for a winner, 
but made Sierra. Three, love. Two examples in the first three rallies of the second game. Oh, that's a beauty. She threaded that down the line. Traffic over. One, three. That's landed in. Three, four. I can't remember the last time I saw Ch Tai Su Ying. Refused to change the shuttle when her opponent asked her to do so. Very sportsmanlike conduct by Tai Su Ying. Another missed opportunity, though. Four, three. I think the four points that Chen Fei has one inverted commas in this second game have been errors from Tai Su Ying. That's a beauty. What a super shot. Again, immediately saying yes, I agree to a shuttle change. Lai Chien Cheng on the right as we look at them. Used to be her sparring partner and has become her coach. That's a great backhand clear. Good rally. Possibly the longest of the match so far. Yeah, fabulous. Tai Su Ying digging deep in that rally. Defensively, had to work hard. That backhand was superb. Indeed, it was the longest rally. Found the line. Lovely disguise on the return. Yeah. All 
all about oh. angle. Well, you can call it a half smash or a fast drop, whichever you like. But it was jolly effective. Back level, six all. Another example of going for a winner and making a mistake. Time. This shot was played to perfection. Slice across court played with disguise this one, setting up the rally. back her side. Seven. Yeah, saw the drop shot early. Yeah. And that's what made the difference in the rally. Taking the straight drop very early indeed. Once again, we're not seeing the setup, we're only seeing the final winning shot. Good punch clears from Chenu Fei. Three good punch clears. <laughs> well, China over the years has been very dominant in this discipline. 15 golds from the 24 previous World Championships that they participated in. They didn't participate in the first two. 15 golds in the first 17 World Championships that they participated in. But no Chinese player has won a gold medal in the women's singles for 11 years since Wang Yi Han in London. Oh, that's lovely. Now, when the winners are working she looks a class above Aggressive attacking play, variation on the attacking play too from Tai Su Ying. And she's a game and 11 9 up in the second.
really hit through that smash. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Uh, Tai Seeing not happy with the mopping from the top court attendant. Hot, humid conditions here in Tokyo. Perfection. How many women singles players can play a shot like that? Not many. Brilliant. Four straight points for Tai Su Ying. That's well left. Beautiful. No, I think there was a bit of hesitation on that backhand. Maybe she changed her mind. long of the back line. Bush just left two that landed long. Obviously convinced that one was going to land in on that occasion. But you've got to make your mind up quicker than that. You can't let the shuttle drop that low. the expression and the gesture after that rally. Despair and frustration. I had a... All I had to do was get it over and in. Well, most people think that. Tai Su Ying. Now that act, that reaction after that previous rally actually concerns me. That psychologically, she's beginning to get a little bit frustrated. That was nowhere near going over.
so three straight errors. And after that, missed one at the net. And the look and gesture of despair. And the problem is you can't afford to let your opponent see that you're dispirited in any way. It gives them encouragement. Four straight hours. Well, I suspect this is the decisive move. Four point advantage. from 12-13 down when Tai Su Ying missed that net shot. This is a very important point for Tai Su Ying. Six straight points for Chen Ufei. another error and this is actually 10 of the last 11 points because she was 9-12 down Chen Fei. There's a challenge here. The line judge was very, very slow to react. Didn't make the call initially. And I think that hesitation unsettled Tai Su Ying. And she might as well challenge anyway, because if not, it's game point opportunities. It is game point opportunities. Anyway, challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over 20, game point 14. Play. Oh, no. 12 of 14 points from 9 12 adrift to closing out the second game, 21-14. Chen Fei. And we've seen a collapse like that from Tai Su Ying in the past. That was at the Malaysian Open. Well, one game all. Third and deciding game coming up in two minutes. Ah, 
，压你，你再反压对吧？或者是两边把它拉开，有机会我人到位了，我再开始上。因为你老是起跳啊，一跳跳完以后自己失去位置了，你知道吗？所以他这个机会来了。哎，那我每一步都把节奏控制好，我人先到位啊，然后在这边还是一样。自己往前是可控的，可控的话呢，你不管是给他后场也好，还是什么，高杀最重要啊，往前还是推球最重要，知道吗？把重点抓住就行。啊，相Calls the final game, and just as she was about to say play, Chen Fei decides she wants to change the shuffle. Here we go. Deciding game. Well, a real collapse in the second game by Tai Su Ying. 9 up and then promptly lost 12 of the next 14 points. off in that rally for Tai Su Ying. My goodness, that was a long buster. Service over. One I wouldn't be surprised if that's the longest rally so far. Sadly, we haven't got a rally length on that. Oh, that's wild. Absolutely wild from Tai Su Ying. You must know about the sideways drift. Much. I wouldn't mind seeing that again. Now we won't see from this angle. rally to this deciding game has physically hurt Tai Su Ying. It's a huge shame that we don't know how long it was. Mr. 
Yeah, the body language is screaming fatigue to me with Tai Su Ying. But she is a great fighter. She won't give up. Force the short lift. Then the opportunity to play the winner. Look where her feet are. She's nowhere near the back of the court. It looks to me that if that Chen Fei is beginning to take control of this semi final. needs to dig really deep. I saw her closing down the deficit in the Olympic final. Three ten down she was in the third game. Or eventually losing it 21. 18. Yeah, well played. Finding the gaps now, Chen Fei. Working the rally. Smash down the backhand sides. Just a building shot to force Tai Su Ying out of position. Ah, oh, that's super. No power left in the legs from Tai Su Ying. Not getting behind the shuttle. Look, she's off balance when she lands. That means she's slow back to her base position in the center of the court and then can't get to the next disguised drop shot. 
That opening rally of this deciding game, I think, may have decided the deciding game. Gone wide. 10 4 advantage to the Olympic champion. Another one goes wide, and it's 11-4 on a run of five straight points from Chen Ufei. Well, it's all looking rather reminiscent of the Olympic final. Yeah, look at her body language. Screaming fatigue. So it's now or never, as far as Tai Su Ying is concerned. Got to close down this gap and close it down quite quickly. in full flow. One, what a difference and a contrast to her opponent. Chen Fei getting behind the shuttle, then she's got the options. Play the smash, she could play the cross court, she could play the punch clear. Looked to have the same confidence since she missed that net shot at 13 12 in the second game. And she looked dispirited. She put her hand in the air and then put her hand to her forehead. Oh, that's a beautiful net shot. Beautiful. twist in the tail. Yeah. 
What was I saying about getting behind the shuttle? And then you've got options. Look at the physical effort. Take that early. to her coach. Looking for inspiration, perhaps. Oh, well taken. nice. Yeah. Yeah. As the match clock ticks over the hour mark, Tai Su Ying still desperately trying to get herself back into this deciding game. Brilliant from Chen Fei. Law Yigang is absolutely delighted with that. And so he should be. Defense off her knees. Three points away. Chen Fei from the World Championship final. Suspects this is too little, too late. 11, as far as Tai Su Ying is concerned. Oh, that serve may have been short. It's going wide. Ah! Slightly slow onto the defensive shot, and then you can't hit in the direction you want to hit. Two tantalizing points from the final. angle from Tai Su Ying. Or Cho Tian Chen in his quarterfinal yesterday. 
came from 10-18 down. No wonder if Tai Su Ying can take inspiration from her compatriot. Eight match point opportunities, though. Now for Chen Ufei. First one is saved. Somebody's using a flashlight right behind the court. Dear, oh dear. Hey. Good defence. There. Where was this earlier in this deciding game? Third match point opportunity for Chen Fei. Thirty-eight shots, and it doesn't state the longest rally, which suspects makes me suspect that the first rally of this deciding game, that long, long rally, was the longest rally, but we don't know how long it was. Still another five match point opportunities. It's gone wide. Surely not. You just never know, do you? points have been well saved and they have been saved they've been winning shots from Tai Su Ying having really struggled with her consistency earlier Piers Chen Fei has called for the doctor. Mm -hmm. 
Well, he can only use some spray. Opportune moment. To have a break in play when your opponent has just won five straight points. a change of shuttle, hoping it will bring a change of fortune. is challenging. It was close, but I thought that was just wide. It was indeed just wide. Great call by the line judge. Well, this is extraordinary. Six match points have come and gone. Play. You know, somebody else is using a flashlight right behind the court. Just when there's such tension in play. I can't believe that. Audience is told not to use flashlights. Missed it. And Chen Fei on a seventh match point opportunity. Converts and beats Tai Su Ying. Same final game scoreline as in the Olympic final. 21 18 in the deciding game. An hour and 11 minutes. It was an hour and 21 minutes at the Tokyo Olympics. Another extraordinary match between these two wonderful badminton players. Chen Fei through to her first ever World Championship final. She watches it go out, coming from a game deficit, having lost the first to 15, came back strongly to 14 in the second before closing out the decider. 21-18 in an hour and 11 minutes. Confirmation of that scoreline and Chen Fei through to her first world championship final. The Olympic champion tomorrow goes for world championship gold. Well, the women's singles players it's in a repeat of the Olympic final. We look forward to a repeat of the Olympic final in the mixed doubles. It is the two-time former champions, Sheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong, up against the Olympic champions, Wang Yilu and Wang Dongping.